Need some energy. I was gonna chase some iced coffee with Red Bull, but then I thought, I'd like to keep my life. <laughs> Right up top, my name is Megan Mattoon. I am not a professional chef, but I do need to christen this new kitchen. Things are awry. No, this is not my OCD kicking in. But then again, maybe it is. How about this? We're going to celebrate by throwing a party for ourselves and the kitchen. <sighs> Close call. So that means we need to make something sweet. That's usually what people want when you celebrate things. Birthday cakes. I just stopped there. The other day I was at this vegan restaurant and I tried one of their desserts thinking it would be pretty mediocre, and it ended up being one of the best desserts I've ever had. It was essentially a Rice Krispie treat made of quinoa. Let's see how easy it is to make. Wow, Jurassic Park has made a comeback. First thing you're gonna need is a saucepan. I think this is a saucepan. It's a pan, and it's gonna put sauce in it, so sheesh delish. Sheesh little wish. This is gonna be seemingly easy because if you've ever made Rice Krispie treats, you just heat a bunch of ingredients, mix some stuff up, and let it cool. Starting off with coconut oil. Heaven's jizz. Oh my, it happened. I can't cut it out. I could, but. I found a recipe that I'm gonna follow kind of closely, but of course I'll change it a little bit because I don't trust anybody. Isn't it funny how there's truth in all the jokes? Five tablespoons of coconut oil. One, two, three, four, five. And then we just put this on our arm. Next up, maple syrup. Six tablespoons of maple syrup? No wonder it tasted good. That's the entire bottle. One, two, three, four, five. Wow! And almond butter! Ugh! Now this is heaven's heart. Two tablespoons of almond butter. Clean up is part of cooking. Mmm! Throw this on the stove and mix it around until it's melted. In the meantime, get a mixing bowl. A mixing bowl. Wow. Mixing bowl doubles as a megaphone. I would yell something, but I don't have anything great to say. It's nice to be self-aware. <laughs> I'm also very clumsy. Now our star ingredient, sorry almond butter, puffed quinoa. I know what you're thinking. Well, first of all, what in the heck is puffed quinoa? I've never even heard of that in my life. You and me both until I looked at this recipe. Second of all, why does it look like I have enough to feed the Brady Bunch for eight years? I don't know. If you don't have this at your local grocery store, you can make it at home by using normal quinoa. Initially, I was gonna puff the quinoa myself just so you could see it, but then I realized it takes about three to five hours. And you know what doesn't take three to five hours? Clicking order on Amazon Prime. So, two cups of puffed quinoa. This just seems... <laughs> <gasps> like a farce. Before we put all of our wet ingredients and mix them into the dry ingredients, we need a tin that we are going to put in the freezer for it to set. I have a round cake pan and rectangular Tupperware. I would prefer it to be in a rectangle shape, but I don't know if I get to choose what I want in this life. Currently, this is where we're at. I don't know what this consistency is supposed to be, but I've never seen anything like it before. Nothing like a silicone spatula. I know they say nothing like a mother's love. I mean, that's great too, but have you ever used one of these things? We're gonna drop this in here and stir it all together. Yeah, that looks pretty right. I think I'm gonna use the Tupperware just so it can be thicker. I, who's calling me? You're on candid camera. You will make the video if you say something really funny right now. So you didn't make the video. <laughs> but 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 bye. But but bye should be my new tagline. This happened. This is good. Geometry lives on. Good. Pack it down onto the side so that it's completely equal on the very top. This is like a culinary bonsai garden. I am relaxed and into this. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put almond butter on the bottom of this. Maybe I could put it on the top. Oh, it's not the same. If you do decide to make this, put almond butter on the bottom and then tell me how it goes because I feel like that is a better idea. What's this? Majority of me feeding myself comes just from remnants on my shirt. We're gonna throw these in the freezer for 20 minutes and then see what life is like. It's been 20 minutes and I definitely have quinoa on my hair and on my arm. Okay, let's rescue them. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. It feels so perfect. This is gosh darn freezing. Now we just have to try and release these bars. No! We may have it. Okay. Dang it. This isn't ideal. 
Oh my gosh, it's not doing it. Was I supposed to grease it? What? In the meantime, I'm gonna make little balls, but this one I am still hoping to get bars out of it. Should I microwave this upside down for like five seconds? Okay, sure. This seems like a bad idea, but it's happening still. Okay, wait, I think I'm getting somewhere. This one's just very, very small. Listen, I don't see shape. I just see healthy snacks, said the cannibal. If I made this again, I would probably do less coconut oil and more almond butter. I'm cutting it in a grid, like a tic-tac-toe grid, so we have nine chances of winning. I'm only hoping for about three of them to be right. We got one! Could it be a second? The process is never glamorous. No one will ever know you struggled for half of this recipe. Starting to think the microwave wasn't a great idea. Pop them back in the freezer just so they can set a little more, and in the meantime, let's make our chocolate. The dark chocolate pieces, I'm just gonna put a good amount. We're just gonna microwave this. Continue doing this until all of it's melted. The residual heat is gonna melt the chocolate chips and at the same time give you an arm ache. If you're tired, you're on the right track. Our crispies have set, now we just need to drizzle. All right, I feel comfortable and confident. Now let's take one of our mistakes and use it to amplify our product. I'm gonna take some of these remnants and sprinkle them right on top to garnish. And there you have it. These are your quinoa crispy treats. My name's Megan Mattoon, and if you do decide to make this at home, best of luck. B -b -b Cheers. Mm. This is bomb.